Peace, power, purpose. Welcome to another episode of the 828 Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Pretty Boss. I cannot wait to share the messages that I have for you, for us, in this time. I'm recording this on Friday, September 22nd at 9.08 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. No matter what time you come across this message, understand that whenever you hear this message is when it is intended for you to be able to receive what is being said on this podcast. 9.09 9.09 a.m. Check-in. Let's get it. You did it. That is the main thing that is ringing through my head as I sat down to record. You did it. You made it. You've done the work. You've crossed So many bridges. You've risen above countless conflict and defeat and challenges. You finally brought yourself to a place of rest, to a place of peace that is unconditional. Regardless of what's going on around you, regardless of what's happening to you or what's happening, you found That solid place within yourself. You found that connection with God. You found that alignment with the most high. You've tapped in to your source. Your source of energy, your source of well-being, your source of breakthrough, your source of abundance, your source of love, your source of happiness. Your source of beauty, your source of joy, your source of understanding, growth, beautiful attraction, value, healing. Shall I continue? Whoever this is for, and as you're listening to this, understand that you are doing exactly what you're meant to be doing in this life. You are on path. None of us are ever heading to a direction on the straight, perfect, diagonal, or perfectly vertical or horizontal trajectory. Even though in our minds that's what we think when we head on a journey. I'm going to go from point A to Z. and I'm going to go there in chronological order. Life doesn't always work like that. You've been on a journey for a very long time. For a lot of you who this is for, you've been in your purpose even longer than you consciously realized at the time. And I say consciously realized at the time because for those of you who I'm speaking to, you're now able to put pieces together and look back and be like, you know what? Wow. I've been doing my purpose since I was a child. I've been doing my purpose since this age. I was doing my purpose since I had this job. I've been doing my purpose. I didn't realize it as that. I thought there was a whole bunch of things I was doing, a whole bunch of places that I was going that weren't linked to each other. I thought I was lost for a moment. I thought some of the journeys that I took, some of the things that I did, some of the hobbies that I picked up, some of the people that I met was in vain. But I'm now able to see I've been living my purpose. I've been doing what I do. Every single environment that I've been sent to. I was doing the work that God sent to me here to do. Those of you who are ready for this message, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. And for those of you who are listening that are just coming into that awareness, those words just brought you into understanding and seeing it. Some of you are going to start seeing your life literally flash before your eyes. 
You're going to start to remember things that you completely forgot about. You're going to start to remember scenarios that you forgot about. Some of you are going to have people that are contacting you that you completely forgot about. Some of you are going to have people reaching out to you that are coming to you in a positive way. Thanking you for something that you've done. Thanking you for something that you told them. Giving you a testimony like, you remember when you did this for me or when you told me this back, this and this and that? Well, I am now doing this because of that. I am now healed because of that. I am now living in my purpose because of that. I am now prosperous because of that. Y'all are going to start receiving testimonies. Y'all are going to start seeing the fruit of your seeds that you have sown over your entire lifetime. (laughs) A lot of messages here today. Now, you've grown. And when I say you've grown, I mean tremendously. I'm seeing the scene of Alice in Wonderland where she's in the house and she takes the magic pill, which I assume to be a mushroom. I digress. She takes the magic substance (laughs) and she ends up outgrowing this house. So she's in the house, right? And then I... You know, I'm I'm blurry on this. I haven't seen the Alice in Wonderland in many years, but I remember this part. She takes something, all right? There's something that happens to where she starts to grow and grow, and then she grows so large that she outgrows the house. Her arms are stretching out the house. Her feet are poking out the house. Her head is poking out the house. This is what I'm seeing for those of you who is ready to receive the words that are coming out of my mouth for this particular prophetic message you have outgrown your situation tremendously it's time for you to think bigger and we're going to get into that i'm going to explain exactly what i mean by think bigger but what more is more important for you to understand here is that you are ready for a complete life change a complete lifestyle change a total level up, a complete make over. And when I'm saying these things, I mean externally because this is exactly what has happened on the inside of you. You've grown so much. I'm looking at one of my favorite plants that I have in my office. It's a money tree. And my money tree... What's what's incredible about this money tree is that this money tree that I have, my pachira, has grown faster than any money tree that I've ever had. I've been looking at it for the past at it for the past three months and have been asking myself, girl, you know it's about that time to repot that pachira because she is growing exponentially. All of those new leaves that I see, I know that those roots are running deep. And I know that she's to the point where, yeah, she's sustaining in the pot, but she's truly outgrown that environment. I need to repot her and give her more soil, give her more space for her to be able to spread her roots and grow even further and even more exponentially. She's found her perfect place, the location that I have that bachira tree Is perfect in this home. She's been with me a few different places and locations that I put her. But the space that I have her at now, she thrives. This is analogous to your situation and to you. Think of yourself as that pachira tree that I'm speaking about. That money tree that has grown exponentially. So many roots. It needs more space. You're still doing good. You're still growing. But if you were just put in a different pot, do you understand how you would thrive? And how far your roots could spread and would spread? Do you understand that you found the perfect space? And I'm not talking about physical location. I'm talking about mindset. I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about spiritually. You found your space in this universe. We're not speaking mundane here. We're talking on a quantum level. You found your spot 
in the universe. This is deep. This is making me think of the Bible verse, Psalms 1. You are planted, those who meditate on the word day and night are like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields fruit in a season and its leaf does not wither. In all that you do, you prosper. Mm. That is you. The one who meditates on the law day and night is like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither. In all that you do, you prosper. It goes on to say that the wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. We'll get into that, but this is not about them. This is about you. Tables are turning, and what I mean by that is the truth is coming to light. We're going to start truly witnessing in a way that we've never experienced in our generation or in this particular lifetime. We're going to start experiencing the truth to the statement that says the truth always comes to light. And light always prevails. Don't let the illusion, the temporary illusion of what you've seen in this world fool you we're going to start seeing the harvest from the seeds that people have planted people are going to be reaping what they have sown this is on an individual level organizational level community level collective level Even in terms of group mindsets, I'm talking about even we can think about this in terms of people. Right. But even if we're talking about certain countries, we're going to start seeing the fruit of the collective mindset of nations. Produce whatever fruit it has been cultivating over the past decades, years, centuries. Those of you who are listening to this, you're moving into a space and you're crossing over to the other side to where you're going to start seeing things come to you a lot faster. Now that the most high trusts you with your own mind, because let let me let me break this down now. Shouts out to everybody, to my beloved, lovely Patreons. For those of you who are listening on Pretty Boss TV YouTube, we've resumed daily prophetic messages, daily guidance. I started a new series just a few days ago called The Daily Guide to where I can give daily guidance for the days that I don't do the 828 podcast because the messages that I bring forth on the 828 podcast, a lot of these messages are profound and it's not something that I'm led to do on a daily basis. So I created something alternative for that. With that being said, I was talking about on the last episode of the daily guide. And if you would like to join us on Patreon, all of my links are below family. You know where to find us. Patreon.com slash pretty boss TV. Now I was talking about how sometimes Many people, all of us have gotten frustrated. Like, why does it take so long for me to get the things that I've been asking for, praying for, meditating on, focusing on? Why does it take so long for certain things to manifest? Why does it take so long for these good things that I desire and I deserve? Why do these things take so long to manifest in my life? Why would I ask for a thing? Why would I focus on a thing? Why would I think about a thing or visualize it? Why doesn't it just happen? Why does it got to take so long? And one of the things that I was describing and explaining on that episode of the Daily Guide is that you have to understand that our mind is a double-edged sword. It can either cut you 
or it can pave a beautiful way forward for you. So it can either destroy or it can create beauty, abundance, prosperity, love, health, joy. So you have to understand, and even one of the last episodes of the 828 podcast that I posted on YouTube was about mastery of the mind, mind over matter. A lot of you who heard that episode and you're also finding yourself on this episode. I'm recording this on the 22nd. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this on YouTube. But if you've caught both of those messages, I want you to understand that you've done the work. You've done significant work. Even if sometimes you find your thoughts swaying just slightly, you, whatever process that it is that you have in place, whatever it is that you do, whether it's journaling, whether it's a way of thinking, whether it's praying, scripture, meditation, or certain activities or hobbies that you do when you find your mind drifting in a non-productive direction, whatever it is that you've, do, you're do, you've been doing, let me tell you, you've tipped the scales to the side of peace, prosperity, positivity, love, and abundance. If there was a scale in front of you right now and you have negativity on one side and positivity on one side, that positivity scale is really, really heavy. It's hitting the floor right now in regards to you. Now, I said that to say most people, even if we think about this scale, I want you to see that scale in science class in your head. Or the scales of justice. And I want you to think about one side holding negativity and one side holding positivity. Most people, the world, right? Even when we talked about the scripture that was the daily bread, Romans 12 and 2. Be ye not conformed to the world, but be transformed by what? The renewal of your mind. Those of you who've done that process and you've cultivated and you've been patient and you've been like a scientist figuring out, okay, This works for me. This doesn't work for my mind. This works for my emotions. This works for my body. This doesn't work. You've been like a scientist, patiently figuring out your process to where now you're in a space where you have this beautiful balance. As I say, and I'm describing it is you've found yourself. You found your place that you can thrive just like the Pachira tree, the money tree that I'm looking at that it loves its place. I'm not in my living room right now, but if I was in in my living room, I could tell you the same thing has occurred for my fiddle leaf fig tree. She has grown tremendously. Okay? She's found her space. This is how it is for you. You found your perfect space within yourself to thrive unconditionally. Like the leaf that does not wither, that is planted by what? The streams of water always being watered your cup always being full because you've learned how to refuel yourself you've learned how to keep your cup full you've learned that balance between giving and take giving and receiving and even within yourself when to do and when to pull back you've learned a beautiful dance with yourself in your life in this life now back to what i was speaking about about Why do things not manifest faster for some of you who are listening to this and probably have that question on your mind currently? This is because you got to think about it. The mind is a double edged sword, so it can either create destruction or it can create beautiful things. So you have to ask yourself, if I'm always going back and forth, if I haven't been transformed by the renewal of my mind, if I'm still living life like a double minded man, right? Who was unstable in all his ways. One day I feel good. One day I don't. One day I think things are working out for me. One day I don't. One one day I feel like this is a blessing. One day I feel like it's a curse. One day, da-da-da, back and forth, okay? So if you're still living life, or even for those of you who once was living life as a double-minded man, unstable in all your ways, then you have to be like, well, you know what? Let me be fair. Let me be objective about this whole situation. If I think positively And I ask for things that are good and I'm having these positive thoughts and they manifest immediately. That means that on the opposite end, especially I'm being double minded. That means equally I should expect that if I'm having negative thoughts or if I'm thinking negative ways or having negative conversations, those things should manifest just as fast as well. Right. So that's the crux on that. 
You can't have one without the other. So if you are still learning how to control your mind, if you're still learning how to find your frequency, if you're still learning how to cultivate and maintain a certain vibration, a certain polarity unconditionally, then you have to understand that as you're still learning that process, that buffer zone is going to be a lot bigger because this is the grace and mercy and understanding of God. This is a representation of grace in your life. We'll look and be like, oh man, I want these things. I pray for these things. These positive things aren't happening. Why not? But then we don't realize how many times have you thought negative or had certain negative conversations throughout the day or watched something on YouTube or watched something on TV that was very negative. That if the 30 minutes that you gave that documentary, the hour and a half, two hours that you gave to that documentary, if you wanted your thoughts to manifest as quickly as you thought them, then you have to understand some of these horrific things that you've placed your focus on will have to manifest just as fast as the, as the way that you want these positive things to manifest. Now, I know for those of y'all who are listening, understood exactly what I'm saying. With that being said, those of you who are ready for this particular message, you did it, baby. Understand that because of the frequency that you shifted towards, because of the frame of thought that you shifted towards, because you have been transformed by the renewal of your mind, testing what is the perfect will of God, you're going to start seeing that because your polarity have shifted to a more positive, to a higher place, to having your thoughts more in a line with the way that God perceives your life and the life of those around you, you're going to start seeing that because now you're predominantly moving in this direction. Let's say you're in that direction 80% of the time. Your tilt is that way. You're going to start seeing things start to unfold in your life much faster. So before there were certain things that you were praying for or needing or wanting or wishing, and it's like, man, it's just a buffer. It's just a delay. Maybe you could feel it, but things just weren't really necessarily unfolding. Or even if things were unfolding, it's like they were just trinkling in, right? Just the signs and reminders from God, like you're doing a good job. Here's a cookie, you know? Okay, good job. Pat on the back. Here's another cookie. You was getting those cookies. But now you're about to start to see the entire bakery unfold before you do you understand what I'm trying to say things that you are focusing on in this season in this time now because of how you shifted towards renewing your mind you shifted towards putting those new wine skins on and taking off those old ways of thinking those old wine skins you are now going to start seeing the things that you think about and that you focus on come into your life so much faster than they've been. A lot of you are ready to take a very specific leap of faith. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. Like I said, family, there's so many messages here for you. This is your new beginning. Welcome to the new. Hold on. I have to do it really quick. Welcome to the new, okay? Just a quick round of applause. Quick round of applause. Welcome to the new. You've made it. You made it to a fresh new land. This is your new beginning. You're being called to new and higher places. You have broken so many old patterns, patterns of thoughts. Some some of you have broken habits that you thought you would never be able to break. Some of you can't even relate to certain aspects of your old self. Like you, you know, that's where humility comes in, right? That's where not forgetting where you come from comes in because sometimes you can transform so much family that you start to judge People for the very things that you used to do. We don't want to be that way. Spirit of humility is always important because it's not about looking down, but 
understanding that since we've come from certain places, that we also have tools now that we can share with others to help those who are interested from coming from that place as well. We'll be able to help people bridge that gap. Not only have you crossed the bridge and you've bridged gaps in your own life, but now you're going to be able to help other people bridge that gap between where they are and where they want to be as well. Between their lower ways of thinking, their lower self and their higher self and their higher ways of thinking as well. Between the dark and the light. Between fear and faith. Between fear and love. Between despair and hope. Between poverty and success. Between dis-ease and good health. Between envy and gratitude. Okay? You're now going to be able to help people bridge particular gaps because you bridge them for yourself. This is a beautiful thing. This is a new time for you. Okay. Some of you, like I said, going back to one of the messages we spoke about earlier, you've literally outgrown your situation. Some of you have outgrown your occupation, your place of occupation. Maybe you're doing what it is that you're supposed to do, but you're supposed to be doing it on a different platform, on a different stage, to a different level. To a larger audience. Some of you. It's the location that you live in. Maybe it's the particular city. Maybe you're being called to go to a city. That is more in alignment with the opportunities. That you're ready for. Maybe it's your school. Maybe it's a a certain. Predicament. Or circumstance that you're within. That you've outgrown. In major ways. Maybe. You're a coach at a high school or a middle school. But you're meant to do this on a collegiate level. Or. A national level. Right. Pro. Maybe. It's the home. Or the apartment. That you live in. And you're ready For more, maybe you've been renting and you're ready to own. Maybe you've been living within a limited space and you're ready to expand. And understand that this movement is not just a superficial thing to look better, but this movement is due to growth. And the reason that you've grown is because you're able to now handle more. Even in the case of what I'm talking about for some of you that might be led to expand or get a larger home. This isn't to be like, oh, I used to live in a 500 square feet. Now I'm in a 5,000 square feet. And it's not necessarily for those superficial reasons. It might be because now you're ready to build or expand a family. Maybe you're ready to be that person or that place that other people in your family can come to in places of need. Or maybe you want to start that um, foster home, that foster care. And so now you're being led to expand your environment because there's more that is going to be placed there. If you're ready to expand in your career or maybe go on a different platform or be put on a pl- different platform, it's because you're ready to touch more people. And handle the responsibility in everything that comes with that. You're going to be moving in one way or another. You're going to be moving. Trust how you're guided to move. Everything is going to work out for you very smoothly. There might be certain things, even as I'm saying this, some of you might know specifically How you've not only been praying for this move, that's exactly the move that I'm talking about, or you've been preparing for this move. Again, that's the move that I'm talking about. You've been planting the seeds. You've been being patient. You've been being vigilant. And now you know it's time for a move, 
But maybe you're not sure how this is going to happen. Maybe it seems like a far stretch. Maybe there are certain things in your situation that you feel like, well, I, I, I thought these things need to be in order before I'm able to make this move. And what you don't have, what you need to understand is that you're not alone. Trust God. Trust the most high. Trust source. Trust your path. Trust that you're never alone. You're not alone. Trust that you will be supported in every move that you make, especially, not especially, especially, and specifically when it's involved in making a leap of faith. When you take that leap, you're going to see the most high carry you. It's making me think of that 50 Cent song. First, there was one set of two footprints in the sand. Then there was two f- sets of footprints in the sand. When times get hard and ish hits the fan, God don't walk with me. He carry me, man. I always loved that, that bar. 50 Cent has a lot of faith. He does. I've heard him say powerful things about faith over the years. The few instances that I've heard him on interviews. You're being guided, divinely guided. Some of you are going to be making a sudden move. Let me tell you something. If you don't believe in miracles, you will. I'm going to, and when I say that, when I say you will, miracles are often misunderstood. What, let, me, let me explain the essence of a miracle, and then I'm going to go get a book that I want to reference something from that we've been reading on Patreon this month. Miracles are often misunderstood because it kind of is the same energy as, let's say, you see a person that you've never heard of, and then all of a sudden this person just becomes uber successful. They just start to prosper, right? They come out of nowhere. Just like they say, people become an overnight success. Now, if you talk to most of these people, and I'm talking about the genuine people that this is the case for And it can be argued that everybody this is the case for. Even when we're talking about media and people talk about industry plants. Right? Even that, you don't know what that person has done energetically or vibrationally. It might look like, oh, well, they were given opportunity. They were used as a plant. But you don't, you still don't know what that, you don't know the internal work that person has done. Every cause has an effect. People always like to justify whether a person should be in a situation or not. Oh, they didn't go through this way. They didn't do it that way. But really, you don't know what they did. You don't know what their process was because guess what? You're not them. But one thing that I know is law is always law. And every single cause has an effect. What a person reap, what a person sows, they will reap. So in the same context of what I'm talking about, this miracle that is about to occur in your life It's not necessarily that it's something that is coming out of nowhere. This quote unquote miracle is going to be a result of the energy that you've been building and building and building and building towards something that now it's ready to burst in a way that to the outside onlookers is going to look very miraculous. Even to yourself, it's going to look that way. But at the same time, even though it looks like finally a breakthrough, you're going to know exactly What it took for you to get to the point to finally be able to get to a space of so quote unquote breakthrough or miracle in your life. I got to pause real quick. Let me get a book. I got the book. Okay. And I'm going to give a spoiler for those of you who are not on Patreon, who are not currently participating in our 30 days to success in money or shall I say shmoney challenge. When I say out of all of the 30 days of success challenges we've done this year, this one is materializing something major. And we ain't just talking money, baby. That's the very least of what 30 days of success in money is producing. Major shift of energy. Again, if you would like to participate in our monthly and daily challenges of self-development 
self-improvement and self-growth. Patreon.com slash Pretty Boss TV is where you want to be. One of the books that we've been reading, and we're reading three books in our book club this month. One of them I've spoke about before many, many years. Thank You Grow Rich, one of my favorite books. I've already finished and completed that book. That's one of the ones. The Another one that we're reading for 30 Days to Success and Money this month, but it's also for our book club, is Atomic Habits by James Clear. Let me read the book cover. It says, Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results. Okay? Atomic Habits. That's what that represents. Tiny Changes, Remarkable results. And when he talks about tiny changes, he's talking about just a 1% change in performance. Not trying to jump off of a cliff. Not saying I need to change my life all in one day. These are all the things wrong with me. Let me do change everything at once. No, it's a 1% change. And this book is so beautiful. And it's such an alignment with what we've been doing this entire time on 30 days to success we've been doing 30 days to success every single day on patreon since december 2022 it's september 22nd 2023 as i'm recording this message so you do the math we'll be doing 30 days to success all the way into december baby i told y'all we're going to be doing that every day this entire year yes we've kept our word This is incredible because the way that 30 days to success is designed is for you to be consistent one day at a time. It only takes no more than five minutes of your day for most of the activities in 30 days to success. It's not to do it and be like, oh, I skipped a few days. Let me do four days in a row and then I do the 30 days. No, the only way to successfully complete 30 days to success from a soul level is to do it one day at a time for 30 days straight this is in alignment with exactly what this book is talking about because for those and the few people who have been doing 30 days of success with me since the beginning and regularly each and every day I guarantee you the tiny changes that has been occurring each 30 days each day at a time is now in the process of creating very remarkable results Now, I'm reading from page 20 of Atomic Habits, and this is something that I wanted to share. Now, I have to share this whole analogy. James Clear, I love the way that he writes. His writing style reminds me so much of mine. Oh, my God, I love it. Okay, I've just been enjoying reading this book because I just love to read books from people who can actually write. (laughs) It's nothing like reading penship from somebody who can clearly articulate themselves, right? Anyways. It says what progress is really like, okay? And again, this is all what we're referring to when we're talking about this miracle or this breakthrough that is about to occur in your life. I got to read it to you like this. You're going to appreciate this. Imagine that you have an ice cube sitting on a table in front of you. The room is cold and you can see your breath. It's currently 25 degrees. Ever so slowly, the room begins to heat up. 26 degrees. 27, 28, the ice cube is still sitting on the table in front of you, 29 degrees, 30, 31, still nothing has happened. Then 32 degrees, the ice begins to melt. A one degree shift, seemingly no different from the temperature increases before it has unlocked A huge change. Glory to God. Oh my goodness. Bars. Breakthrough moments are often the result of many previous actions which build up the potential required to unleash a major change. Jesus Christ. Bars. Mm, 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 Mm-mm-mm-mm. Let me read this, okay? Look, I have to share. I just got to, just let me finish. Do y'all like the way that I read? Let me know. The pattern, this pattern shows up everywhere. Cancer spends 80% of its life undetectable, then takes over the body in months. 
Bamboo can barely be seen for the first five years as it builds extensive root systems. Were we not talking about roots just now? Underground before exploding 90 feet into the air within six weeks. Jesus Christ, who's this for? Who am I speaking to? Please let me know. Mm. Similarly, habits often appear to make no difference until you cross a critical threshold and unlock a new level of performance. In the early and middle stages of any quest, there's often a valley of disappointment. Who can relate? Y'all know how Pretty Boss refers to that valley of disappointment. That's that buffer zone. Where you've been doing the work, you've been thinking positive, you've been changing your habits, you've been being consistent, but nothing is changing on the outside, but you feel the change, but nothing's happening. It's a buffer before things manifest. We just spoke about that. In this book, he's referring to that as the valley of disappointment. I love it. You expect to make progress in a linear fashion, and it's frustrating how ineffective changes can seem during the first few days, weeks, and even months. For my chosen ones, Let's talk about it. Even years. It doesn't feel like you're going anywhere. It's a hallmark of any compounding process. The most powerful outcomes are delayed. Bars. Mm. Let me tell you something. It says this is one of the core reasons why it's so hard to build habits that last. People make a few small changes, fail to see a tangible result and decide to stop. This is what a lot of people do when they're with their positive thinking. People will write a gratitude list for a day. People will think positive for a day. People will pray and meditate for a day. For a week, maybe a few days. But if they don't see, oh, my God, I've been meditating all day. I meditated all week. I meditated for 30 minutes today. I meditated three times this week and they don't see the results. Then they give up because they haven't seen and they don't understand the compound effect. They don't understand that breakthrough moments are often the result of many previous actions, which build up the potential required to unleash a major change. Look at this. It says your work was not wasted. It is just being stored. All the action happens at 32 degrees. When you finally break through the plateau of Latin potential, people will call it overnight success. The outside world only sees the most dramatic dramatic event rather than all that preceded it. But you know it's the work you did Long ago, when it seemed that you weren't making any progress that makes the jump possible today, Jesus Christ. Bars. Change can take years before it happens all at once. Now he's speaking my language. Now he's speaking my language. Change can take years before it happens all at once. Mastery requires patience oh glory to god listen what was the last video that we posted right here on pretty boss tv youtube what does it say in the thumbnail mastery this is what we were speaking about when i read that part of the book for my book read last night i always read before i go to bed and when i was reading that i was literally shouting in my spirit i'm like oh my god this is everything that i've been talking about this is everything that i've been feeling what a coincidence i love the way that he articulated that so beautifully i had to read his words verbatim this is what we've been talking about this is the process what does it say mastery requires patience for those of you who this is for oh you've been patient with your process you've been working and toiling the soil for years You've been being resilient. You got knocked up a million times. You got back up stronger. You got knocked off your your routine and your habit because of things that you couldn't help. Disease, sickness, this, that, all these other things. And you got back right on the merry-go-round to do exactly what you came here to do and pick up where you left off at. You don't make excuses. Even if there was moments in your life where you might have fell off for a time, it was only for a season. You got right back up as soon as you could get back up. You've lost so much. You've gained, lost, gained, lost, and you continued on the process. 
You've done the spiritual work. You've tried to resonate with God, get to know God. Sometimes you will fall off. You will fall back into other habits that were non-productive towards your spiritual growth. But then you got right back on it because you're chosen. You got back right on the narrow path, even though sometimes you might have took a little dip around the wide path corner. Okay? You got back on your narrow path many times. All the trauma and drama you went through that you thought you would never heal from. Things that you went through that are unheard of and undeserving since you were a child. Things that you thought you would never be able to heal from, but you continue with the process. You continue to have faith. You continue to learn. You continue to implement different tools that God put before you because faith without works is dead. People want to pray for change, but they don't want to do the work. People want to pray for healing, but they don't want to follow the steps. But you continue to got back on there and you continue to do until you got your healing. Oh, Jesus. When I tell you, baby, you are about to have a breakthrough and a miracle to other people occur in your life that seems to come out of nowhere. And it's because of those small changes. Because of that consistency, because of that patience, because you weren't trying to take the shortcut. You weren't trying to figure out how can I catch up to what this person is doing? How can I catch up to this level? No, no, no. Because it was never about other people. It was always about you. You stuck to your process. You kept your eyes straight before you. You were never trying to be like somebody else. You were trying to be your best version or your better version every day, one day at a time. No skipping steps, no cheat codes. And because of this patience, that is the only thing that can produce mastery, which you've achieved. And you're about to see this mastery express itself in your life in miraculous forms. Oh, my God. Oh, my goody. Oh, my goody. Let me tell you, your devotion to your process, to God, to the most high, to yourself To your purpose, to the love of life and love is paying off majorly. And guess what? The time is now. The time is coming when I tell you this is going to happen all of a sudden. I don't know why I'm here when the the clock strikes 12 like Cinderella. Like all of a sudden, but it's going to be in reverse. Like all of a sudden, you know how when the strike, the clock strikes 12, she lost everything. When the clock strikes 12 for you. Everything is going to flow in just like that. Just like she lost everything, da da da, the cares, it is to that. That's how everything is going to flow in your life. It's literally a matter of time. The time is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock. Boom, explosion. Understand, and I'm pretty sure y'all already know this. It's going to cause a lot of envy. This is what happens when you grow. You're going to see envy around you increase from those people who have denied. The path of growth from the people who've been trying to take shortcuts from the people who've been living life from instant gratification level from the people who've been thinking that by talking about other people, it will make them somehow be better or look better. These are the people that are going to envy your growth the most because they've been in the darkness. They've been hiding behind the mask, wearing two faces, talking about you, judging you, speaking against you, putting word curses out against your life. And now they're going to have to sit in the shadows like they've been, just like how snakes do. They like to slither in darkness. They're going to have to sit in the shadows and watch your light shine before the masses. When I say that you've grown and you've outgrown your environment, family, you, you, you don't understand to the magnitude what I'm talking about. You're no longer going to be able to be hidden. The, the glory over your life is going to expand for miles. 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 When I say the door to success, the door to abundance is flying open in your face. This is all because you've become more valuable than you've ever been. First of all, pause, you've always been valuable. You were born valuable, but you increased your value. You nurtured your value. You came into that space of mastery, which takes time, patience, devotion, and dedication. This is going to give you the ability to explore yourself in ways that you've never imagined. 
This is going to give you the flexibility and the space and the freedom and the peace to explore life in new ways, to discover yourself in new ways, to discover yourself even in more ways in the relationships that you interact within. You're going to find yourself able to truly open up and have deep connections with the people that you choose to connect with. There's not going to be a need for fear. You're not going to feel a need for competition. This is going to be just truly cooperative relationships. Interdependency at its finest. We're talking synergy. We're talking about beauty expanding in your life in ways that you could never have imagined. I'm talking about even you. Even for those of you listening to this, cultivate beauty in your life. Make sure that your environment is beautiful. I don't care where you live, what you have, what you don't have. Make it the best that you can make it. If you have a mansion, make sure it's spick, span, and cleaned up and put some artwork on the walls. If you live in a shack, make sure it's spick, span, and cleaned up and it smells good. And your sheets and your throws are just real comfortable and cozy. Candles got the whole shack smelling like a million bucks. And we're talking about yourself, take care of yourself, your skin, your body, your hair. Nurture yourself. Put yourself together the way that you would look if you were living your unadulteratedly best and blessed life. Know that there's something that you started a long time ago. There's a path, especially in regards to success. There's something that you wanted to create or you intended to create that you had pure focus towards It's not over. You're about to pick back up where you feel like you got knocked off from or where you start, where where you left off at. You're about to pick up and pick back something, pick back up something that you feel like maybe was taken away from you or maybe you lost or maybe you got sidetracked away from or whatever happened in between. You're about to pick something back up. And this very thing, you're going to experience success And prosperity in a way that you never even experienced it back then. Oh, you're not done. Maybe there were some people, some things that got in the way. Certain energies and agents that were sent to distract you. Or get you off your path or get you off your focus or get you out of yourself. Or throw you off your alignment and your connection with God. But let me tell you, the time is up. They failed miserably because you're about to pick right back up where you left off at. You're getting ready to follow your bliss in the most beautiful way. Some of you have already been doing that and you've been thinking, man, am I tripping? Is there something else that I need to be doing? Maybe, maybe God wants me to do something else because you've been really enjoying your life. For those of you who this is for, even if it's in basic ways, even if it's just, I've been really enjoying eating this food, the food that I eat. Oh my God. Even if it's just, let's say you've been exercising. Let's say you've been doing music. Let's say you've been dancing, painting, singing. I don't care what it is. Playing basketball, swimming, fishing, whatever it is that you've been doing that is blissful to you, that it seems like it's not doing anything because you're like, yeah, this is good. I feel good, but, you know, nothing's really happening. Maybe I should be more productive in other ways. Uh -uh 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 -uh. (laughs) Let me tell you, the bliss work that you've been doing, just like those atomic habits, this that you've been doing following your bliss, no matter what it looks like, without doing something for a result you've been doing it because you enjoy the process that continuously following your bliss that you've been doing oh my goodness that is the very thing that is about to bring you major breakthrough in your life major you're about to be inspired to take a clear direction to take a clear type of action in regards to your life There's no need to rush anything. Even as I say this, it's so exciting. Oh, my gosh. When I tell you the opportunities are going to be coming in, like, ay ay ay, It's going to be so many things coming towards you at once. So many opportunities. So much moving. So much travel. Some of you are going to start traveling a lot. A lot. Okay? This could be for work, pleasure, for both. I'm talking about your life is going to start moving, not only are you relocating, but you're also going to be moving and making so many moves. So when you're being led to rest, do it. 
If you feel tired, go to sleep. There's no need to rush anything here. Trust God. Surrender to the process. Trust. Allow your heart to be open to God. Allow God to guide your steps every single day. You're going to know exactly what you need to do and what you don't need to do. This is how you keep that balance. God is all over this. God is all over you. Side message here. I don't even know why this is coming up, but I'm going to say it. You have somebody or some people or something that is very, um, very in deep regret. Okay. You have a people, a person that is heartbroken because they missed out on this journey that you're getting ready to embark on. And whoever this person is or these people are, they chose wrong. They bet against you. Not only did they bet against you, but some of these people, you don't even realize how much they really talked about you behind your back, how much they really cursed you in their mind and in their mouth. I guess this is coming up because this is to say you don't owe anybody anything. And the people who are meant to come with you on this journey, they're already in your life right now. You already communicate with them and you're going to have even more new people that are divinely guided that are coming in that you're able to use your discernment to also allow to walk with you on this journey. But understand, you don't owe anybody anything. Don't let anybody try to come guilt trip you. Don't let any people come out the blue and try to take from that which you've created and what you've built internally. This is yours. Everybody can't go. There was a lot of people who revealed their true colors to you right in the nick of time. Because if you allowed some of these people to stay in your life, you would have never been able to get to this point in the first place. Sometimes you can have friends. Mm, here's the song. This is it. This is for somebody. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Them backstabbers. Backstabbers. That's what you've had in your life. That's what you were dealing with. And for some of you, this is a very particular person. All right? You're moving right along. You've been doing service. You've been serving. And the Most High is going to lead you in even more ways to serve beautifully. And as you serve and are continue to be of service in this earth, in this realm, and do your purpose, oh, my God, it is time for you to see the results of the growth that you've achieved and it's coming and it's coming in huge and abundantly this has been another episode of the 828 podcast if you would like to listen to more episodes of the 828 podcast and if you would like to tune into the daily guide as well as do regular 30 days to success challenges every month every day of 2023 the true level up gang gang Come join the family on patreon.com slash pretty boss TV. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Chosen ones, what's happening? Peace. Peace.